Hi, this is John Larman. I'm coming to you from the fairgrounds. I'm here today to introduce a new uh, contest and some social media we're going to be doing at the fair. Uh, pretty excited about this and just want to share a little bit with you. So what we're going to be doing this year, uh, we're going to be uh, introducing two, two contests on our social media. The first one is we're going to ask people to post uh, pictures that they take at the fairgrounds during the fair. Uh, we're doing this Sunday through Friday of fair week. All those photos got to get posted on our Facebook page. We'll give you more information about that and a little bit more details as we go. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to ask sponsors to provide some meal coupons and things like that, different gift cards, and we'll be picking uh, some number of random winners and providing that just for the sake of, of people who actually post that. Uh, another contest we're going to run, I'm calling it the uh, Champ 10 Pack. Uh, that group is going to be, we're going to take all the animals that stay on the fair, plus one miscellaneous or other category that represents all the things that are not animal related. And on all of those, we're going to have people post photos of their 4 h -er showing that animal. So for example, goat and sheep show on Monday. Monday during the day, we want photos of that day with a kid and their project or with that sheep or with that goat. We want it posted on our Facebook page and we're going to take those and we're going to pick those and we're going to introduce a, a, a nice little uh, awards package. We'll show you a little bit more about that as well. So you might be asking yourself, why are we doing this? Well, the number one reason is really just to promote our fair um, and, and kind of get kids interacted, involved in the interaction with social media. So, you know, we can get the public involved with that. We can showcase what we're going, what's going on at the fair each day and really get some visibility of that. Um, we're also trying to get these 4-H kids excited, right? They love social media. Uh, they get a chance to post stuff, mom and dad post stuff, they can tell their friends are out there. There's a lot of cool things about that part as well. And then the final one for me is, I really want to open up the ability for people outside of our county or that don't have the ability to come to our fair, whether it's age, health, uh, whatever. We got a lot of people who have grown up and love this fair uh, that aren't here, they don't live in town anymore, they're not able to come. I want to give those people a picture of what they remember the fair to be and really be able to enjoy our fair um, whether they're on site or whether they're just looking at it at home on, on, on uh, Facebook. All right, so you might be asking yourself, why me or why John Larman or who is this guy? Um, really comes down to, it's, it's, it's kind of a long story, but I'll give you just a little clip of it real quick. Um, really comes down to this. My mom loved coming to the fair, and she was a strong supporter of me and my family and coming to our events. And frankly, in 2010, my mom got diagnosed with uh, COPD. And uh, by 2011, she came to a show here we had. And uh, by the time she walked around the fair a little bit, dragging her oxygen tank, just couldn't get it done. So she ended up leaving sad that day. She couldn't watch my kids' show. And, uh, and that was a hard time. And we, we frankly fast forward another year then. And, and in 2012, mom wasn't able to come at all. And, but, I, but I remember coming home every night, fair week. I'd get home 9, 10 o'clock at night. Mom would be sitting on the porch asking me about how the fair went. I'd sit out there for another hour or two, tired, worn out. But I tell you, it's, uh, it's kind of bittersweet. Mom passed away in the fall of 2012. And uh, there ain't a day gone by since that I, I don't wish I'd have spent four hours talking to my mom during that week and uh, helping her see the fair uh, through our eyes. So. You know, I know my mom can see the fair now anytime she wants, but uh, there's a lot of people out there that maybe can't. And it could be grandparents, it could be grandparents that are further away, and that's kind of the motivation, the driving factor, why I'm getting involved and why I'm trying to make this happen. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, why social media? Why use the public? Why are we doing this at all? Well, it really comes down to this. I could, I could probably try to take a bunch of pictures at the fair. We could recruit a few kids that, that would help with our Facebook page, try to recruit a few, take some pictures at the fair. But the bottom line is, if we use social media and we get some interest involved in this and we open this up to the folks that are out there, I can get 5,000 people a day taking different pictures and they're not all gonna post, 
but we're going to get a lot different perspectives than if we send one or two people doing it. So that's our whole goal with the social media part of this is just really making it interactive, let people post stuff. Um, and with that, okay, comes some probably some things around privacy and some guidelines. So I'll just cover that real quickly. There's a lot more detail behind this we can share with you. You can find on our Facebook page, but I will hit some of the biggies. Uh, first of all, you, it's got to be your kid. Uh, it's got to be your family that you're posting a picture of. You can't post a picture of 10 different people. Those are some of the simple basic rules. Um, you know, the champ pack that we're talking about, that's got to be a picture of the 4 h -er and the animal. It can be before the show, during the show, in the ring, after the show with their, with their ribbon. Um, it could be, you know, the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat picture. Um, it's going to be all those pieces. I'm really leaving that wide open up to the public to decide how they want to show that. Um, and then photos, you know, th they really need to be um, appropriate. We're going we're gonna to be monitoring this. Hey, let's face it, we are a bunch of hicks, but we're also some techie geeks as well. So we're, we're going to take care of that part as well. Um, if you have concerns, you know, send me an email. Get with me. Talk to me. Uh, we'll try to work those out, but it really is just trying to make it fun and, 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 and entertaining for everybody involved. And uh, so, hey, let's keep it clean and uh, let's have a good time with this. So you might be asking yourself, when's this going to start? Well, we're actually posting pictures Sunday through Friday. However, since rabbits are showing on Saturday, we're going to let those pictures be posted either on Saturday or on Sunday, and we'll start the clock kind of, if you say, on Sunday. But basically, it comes down to this. You get to post pictures all day long. At 8 o'clock at night, we'll kind of freeze the picture posting. Um, we'll have a group of folks that look through those, pick random winners that we talked about, give $25 gift certificates to different places in town. And then these champ packs, so we'll pick a, on Sunday night, we'll pick a winner for the rabbits. Monday night, we'll pick a winner for the sheep and the goats, and et cetera. So depending on the show day you show, you got to get your animal's pictures posted that given day. Uh, but all that's again on fair week. So you got time to, to think through some of those pieces. All right, so if you want some more information, uh, we don't have everything figured out, obviously, and it's going to be a little bumpy our first year here, but we're asking for a little bit of patience. But uh, two ways to get to get more info. One is go to our Facebook page. It's Tippecanoe County 4-H Fair. Um, or you could also send an email if you need to. Uh, we've set up an email just for this little event. It's tippy, T-I-P-P-Y dot showtime at gmail.com. And uh, we're going to actually call this thing the Showtime Photo Contest. So that's where you get to Showtime. But uh, Hey, we just hope this is an interactive, fun way to enjoy the fair, give you a chance to post stuff out there, see other what other people are doing, watch it remotely if you want to as well. And hey, we got a lot of work to do in the next few weeks uh, to get all this stuff ready to roll. And again, we don't have all the answers, but we're looking forward to doing it, getting some excitement about this, and we hope to see you at the fairgrounds. Hey, uh, this is John Larman coming to you from the fairgrounds. Look, we got, a, we got some new contests coming. I'm talking to potential sponsors here. Uh, so I per personally want to just reach out to you. I'd love to come see all of you uh, on my own. Would certainly like to get the opportunity to meet you as well. But I just can't do it logistically. Time's too short. So I'm shooting a little video, making it available so you can quickly see this and see if we want to get involved. It comes down to this, folks. We're going to do a multimedia campaign this year and allow people to post photos on our Facebook page. And we got two main contests going. The first contest we got going is, I just call it kind of a, um, it's just a lucky photo contest. It's going to be a random selection of winners. I need people that's willing to sponsor those with $25 gift cards and up, so or, or certificates. So if you're a pizza place and you want to offer a free pizza, those kinds of things, it certainly fills the bill on that. What you're going to get out of that situation is you're going to get, there'll be some notoriety on the Facebook. There'll be some communication every day when we post this. We'll say who won the pizza contest or whatever. Um, so there'll be some of that going across the Facebook page. The second one, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit prestigious. It, I'm looking for 10, 10 sponsors in total, one per each of these. I'll describe it uh, quickly to you here. But basically, for every 4-H animal we have on the fair, we got nine of them, plus one miscellaneous. What we're going to do is we're going to give these kids a chance to take what I'm calling showtime photos. So the day that they show the animal, they're gonna take pictures of themselves either prepping, 
either showing or even maybe the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat on the back end and post that on Facebook, we're going to have a group of people come together at 8 o'clock every night, review those photos, pick one winner for each of those animal categories or those divisions. Those kids are going to get a shirt that looks just like this. So you're looking at a dry fit shirt that says, I can't relax, or I can't keep calm, it's fair week. It's going to have their animal, their choice on their sleeve. And on the back, you can see it's going to have their last name across the top. And if you look down there on the bottom, it's going to say sponsored by. So that's going to be a single sponsor per item or per, per animal. Um, we're also going to give them a, a kind of a redesigned trophy um, and, and, a nice, and a nice green and white 4-H ribbon. So, and then, and then we're probably going to give them a little bit of premium money. It won't be something ridiculous, but it could be 20 bucks or so to buy some stuff at the fair. So here's the deal. That first pack I'm talking about, I'm looking for donations in the realm of about 25 bucks a piece. You can sponsor once. You could buy a whole day. You could buy a whole week. So we're doing it for six days. So if you want to give me six $25 certificates, you could be on every day. If you want to do it once a day, I need at least five a day, so i got to get it five of them. You could own the whole day if you wanted to. But if you want to do the champ pack, I'm looking for a donation of $150 per animal unit. I really want 10 unique folks, so I'm more than happy to let, let you in on it, but I really only ask that you limit yourself to one so we give everybody an opportunity. So if you're interested in that, um, I'm going to tell you how you get a hold of me. Okay, so if you're interested in sponsoring, here's the best way to get a hold of me. Probably the easiest thing to do is to send me an email at tippy, T I P P Y dot showtime at gmail.com. I'll also have it printed on this video underneath so you can see it there. But that's going to probably be the easiest way for you to get a hold of me. Um, but here's the thing, guys. I got I to gotta wrap this stuff up pretty quick so I can get this stuff on order. So I'm really going to need this within the next few days, certainly by the end of the next week, which is Ju sorry, June 26th. So if you want in, especially for the show pack, i got to have you quickly. The other stuff, you can hand that stuff to me up till like the week before the fair, and I'll add it on. If we get so many of them, we can have 20 a day, I'll give away 20 a day. I mean, I'm really hoping for two or 300 pictures posted per day at the fair. So I think i got a lot of opportunity there for sponsoring, but we are going to limit the show pack stuff. Um, in closing, I just want to tell you, if you've been a long-term supporter of the fair, if you're involved in sponsorships of trophies, you come out to the auction, all those things, um, hey, if you're interested in helping with this and you're excited about it, we're, we're more than happy to have you. But we're really not asking you to dig back down into the same pocket and help us with this. We're really looking to reach out and get some new sponsors, uh, let some other people help carry some of that little bit of sponsorship load. Uh, but again, if, you, if you're interested in doing it, let me know. I'd be more than glad to have you. Um, and, and the bottom line is, I'm just trying to evolve this a little bit and re using today's media to intertwine our sponsors with our kids. Because i got to believe some of you that are going to sponsor, let's say the pig division, right? If you're sponsoring the pig division, my guess is on pig day, you're probably going to be looking at Facebook and see what these kids are posting. So I just think it's going to be a cool way for us to really have a lot of interaction back and forth and a uh, really good opportunity for us to, to do a lot of things. And, and finally, if you've got an idea, um, whether we can use it this year or not, I'm not sure. But if you got an idea of some way to make this even better, um, you know, get a hold of me, especially in the off season. Let's talk about how to make this thing even better. Hey, I'm reaching out to the uh, 4-H leaders here and superintendents and others. I just wanted to send a note out to you guys directly. Um, by now, if you haven't, I'd encourage you to go watch the video. It kind of generally introduces what we're going to do with the Facebook page and how we're going to get some multimedia and some stuff involved. And we got some neat ideas of how we're going to do some awards to raise some excitement about that and get a lot of stuff posted. But uh, I just want to share with all of you that uh, you know we're just trying to we're just trying to promote this fair, and uh, you guys have all doing a ton of hard work, long-term work uh, leading these kids. And, and I don't want anybody to feel like we're trying to take that away. We're actually trying to enhance that and make it a little bit even better. So, um, like I said, go watch the video. Make sure you understand at least the basics of it. We certainly want to handle all the administration when it comes to this stuff and even the awards we're giving away. And no expectations that you guys are, are, are needing to order any of that or find more sponsors or any of those pieces. Um, me and, me and my, my sub team is going to take care of those pieces. But I certainly want you to feel like you're involved. And um, so if you ever have any questions, 
or you have um, some concerns you want to share with me, whether they're ahead of time, whether they're during the fair. Um, if you look for me during the fair, typically I'm sitting in the in the front end of the uh, tent, the goat tent over here by the horse barn. Um, my kids show goats, and, and we also have poultry. Um, so you can come find me there. But you can also get a hold of me ahead of time. We set up an email address we can send to. So feel free to email to that. It's tippy.showtime at gmail.com. But again, I just can't stress enough how much I really appreciate on behalf of myself and my kids and everybody who's in, you know, that really gets to enjoy the fair. Um, I know the hard work that you guys have put into that. And I just want to make sure that you feel like we're just coming alongside and, and trying to make this the best we can and get a lot of people involved and get a little excitement about these programs. And um, I'll just tell you, I'm jumping way ahead here a little bit. But my goal with next year, I've got a short time span this year. My goal next year with this is to take a little bit higher level notch. And I'm, I'm hoping maybe we can even turn this into a little bit of some revenue generation for each of your project and be able to push some of this, some of this funding money back into your projects as well. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. And uh, certainly if it, if it goes off really well, we'll do that. So appreciate the work you're doing. Any questions, don't hesitate to call me at all. Um, look forward to meeting everybody. And uh, really look forward to seeing all these great photos on, on our Facebook page and getting everybody involved. Thanks a lot.